Now for this question, we're given this graph with this equation here, y equals the root of 2x all over 3x squared plus 4, 3x squared and equal to 0. And we've got this region S bounded by the curve, the line x equals 2, and the x-axis. And if we were to spin this area then around the x-axis, we're going to generate a volume, a volume of revolution. And we're asked to show that that volume of revolution is of the form k natural log a, where k and a are constants. We've got to express it in this form. So how do we do something like this? Well, we should know that the volume of revolution about the x-axis is always given by pi times the integral of y squared with respect to x, with x going from well, in this example, from 0 to 2. So we're going from 0 to 2. Now we know what y squared is. All we've got to do is just remove this square root. So we just get 2x then divided by 3x squared plus 4. And that's all integrated with respect to x. Now, whenever I've got an integral that is a fraction, something like this, two functions of x on top of one another, always check out to see whether differentiating the bottom here, the denominator, gives me the top, or a constant times the top. Because if it does, then it becomes an integral of this particular form. Just remind you that if you've got essentially um, a function in the denominator, let's just call it f of x. If you differentiate this and you find it's sitting here in the numerator, f dash of x, then the answer is the natural log of the mod of x, plus a constant, which I've just left out. But if there is a constant that you have to multiply by, let's just say it's a, then this will be the same as a times the natural log of x. So let's just see what we've got here. In this example, if you differentiate 3x squared, you're going to get 6x. And differentiate the 4, you get 0. So you're just left with 6x, which is a constant times 2x. So this is definitely going to be an integral of this type. So I can make an adjustment here. Some of you, I'm sure, could do it straight off in your head, but that's not the point of this video, okay? I'd like a 6x there. Let's just put the integral there. But if we're to get 2x, I need to divide this by 3. A third of 6 gives us that 2. And because this is a constant, that's al allowed. So we've got that 6x all over 3x squared plus 4, and it's integrated with respect to x. So we now know that this is a natural log type. So that volume, okay, is now going to equal pi over 3 multiplied by, well, as I say, the integral of this, going from 0 to 2, by the way, I seem to have left off those limits, is going to be the natural log of the denominator, 3x squared plus 4. Now normally I put these in mod signs, but I can see that this is a squared term, so it's always going to be positive, and I'm adding it to a positive number, so there's no need to put it in mod signs. And the limits are from 0 to 2. So I just need to substitute my values in now. So when we substitute 2 in, first of all, we get the natural log of 2 squared, which is 4, times 3, that's 12, plus another 4, that's going to be 16. And then we subtract what we get when we put 0 through, which will be the natural log of 0 here, and then that'll be just 4. Now, if we're to get it to one term like this, then we need to group these two logs, and we can use the subtraction rule for logs, which results in the natural log of 16 divided by 4. And this clearly is 4. So we've got pi upon 3 multiplied by the natural log of 4. 
and you can see that this is identical to k times the natural log of a, where if we were asked, we're not, but if we were asked what k was, k would be equal to the pi upon 3, and the a would be equal to 4. But don't worry about this, because we didn't necessarily have to state the values of k and a. Okay, so there's your answer, pi upon 3, natural log of 4.